average of 81 people die every year in Milwaukee County crashes. That's according to a new study from the County Department of Transportation. Our Stephanie Quirk is live, and Steph, this comes on the heels of multiple serious crashes over this past week alone. Yeah, Ted. In fact, just yesterday, a 55 year old died and an 11 year old was taken to the hospital following a multi vehicle crash on Milwaukee's north side. Now, this study is just the first step towards tackling reckless driving. Reckless driving. It's a problem we see across Milwaukee County. Fatal and serious injury crashes. Are on the rise. This video taken Tuesday shows a crash that killed a 55 year old and sent an 11 year old to the hospital. Police say a 31 year old driver ran a red light near Sherman and Billard. No one really cares for, I guess, safety. Tuesday's fatal crash marks another tragedy in an issue the Milwaukee County Department of Transportation is trying to tackle. Because of the recklessness, in our roadways. They're taking other routes. Jeff Sponsia says the Milwaukee County Transportation Department recently created a study to take a closer look at reckless driving. They are avoiding certain neighborhoods where these crashes are more likely. The state DOT says Milwaukee County had 92 fatal crashes last year. According to the report, over the last decade, most fatal and serious crashes occurred on the city's northwest side. Twice as likely to not only witness one of these crashes, but even potentially to be a victim of those if I am African American. Sponsia says the data is alarming. But a step towards figuring out what fixes need to be made. As far as um, installing safe streets, improvements, Now, these findings are just a portion of the stuff to start multiple safe road projects across the county. Now, if you'd like to see the full 52 page report, you could find that on fox6now.com. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee County, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News.